I'm Jeff Fischel for the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. Our game of the week, Virginia Tech versus Marshall. Something of a shocker could just happen right here in Blacksburg today as Marshall comes to town off of a loss to their rivals from Ohio and Virginia Tech, their only loss of the season, coming to Alabama, a soggy lane stadium ready to get this thing started. The Hokies in the camo gear special for today, military appreciation, ready to take the field in front of a packed house once again here in Blacksburg. Hokies overloaded it to one side and they get it. A block punt for the Hokies and Kyle Fuller came up with the block. Derek Donardo with the score. Beamer ball is back in Blacksburg. Cato on the run. End zone touchdown. Devon Smith with the score, his second of the season. Same play, same result. Thomas keeps it again. And this time he's in. Touchdown Virginia Tech as he just got it over the line. Third and ten. Three man rush. Eight in coverage. Flag down. And picked off. Intercepted on a leaping grab by Monterius. Love it. Now second and eight. Talaferro gashes the defense right up the middle. He's got a first down. And he gets stood up at the 36 yard line by Jack Tyler. Quickly once again back to the ground game in Talaferro. Another huge gash up the middle and he takes it down nearly to the 10. Keyshawn Jarrett with the stop. We haven't heard from Gator Hoskins at all today. This might be a time for him. This is Remy Watson with his first carry of the game. Back to the line of scrimmage. And extra pushing and shoving. We may have seen a punch thrown. Flag on the play. There's your Gator Hoskins appearance. Got into it with Kendall Fuller. Crowd loud at Lane Stadium. Blitz coming. Lob. Touchdown. Gator Hoskins in the last lap belongs to Marshall. Room to the outside now for Edmonds. He's got a first down in the sideline. They missed him once. And he's finally out of bounds by Darrell Roberts. Fourth and ten. Caught first down and shy of the goal line is Joshua Stanford. First and goal, Virginia Tech. This is burn in motion. Rolling the pocket, looking. Ta caught, tipped and caught. And Willie Byrne with a touchdown grab after Dale Roberts deflected it. Tom, I've been calling for Willie Byrne for a couple plays now. He finally shows up on fourth down. They call him the paper boy because he always delivers. Deep ball. Got a man. Caught! First down, Marshall and Devon Smith. He went by everybody. 47 yards. You don't want to let him run on this play. He wants to go deep again. He's a got step, him. And it is picked off. Intercepted by Jarrett. He got it in the end zone. Marshall's ball heads. Marshall, it is a head. You want to go on defense, Marshall? Okay, and which end of the end of the field do you want to play? Okay, so turn your back. Marshall elected to go on defense first. Virginia Tech will start an offense in this direction. It'll be a 50-yard attempt in the rain, but no wind. And let's see how the plant foot is for Ethan Kaiserling. And this one will fall short. Tipped at the line of scrimmage. And Marshall only needs a field goal to knock off Virginia Tech. 39-yard attempt. This is Haig for the win. Blocked at the line. And Virginia Tech stays alive. Hopkins and Edwards able to penetrate. Both game-winning field goal attempts blocked in overtime. Cato hit from behind. The ball is loose. Virginia Tech has it. This is Derek Hopkins. And 
Mankato saves the day by bringing him down from behind. Ethan Kaiserlin from 32. No good. But we had to overtime number three. Well, here's the good news as you head to overtime number three. Kickers are taken out of the equation. It's four down territory, it looks like, from now on. It is. And you got to go for two. First and goal. Thomas will take off, and he is not ruled in yet. No signal yet. Now it's ruled a touchdown. A late call, and Virginia Tech has the first score in triple overtime. They need nine to stay alive. Fade route, and incomplete through the hands of Devontae Allen. Virginia Tech survives in three overtimes. You can't throw it any better than Rakeem Cato just laid it right in the perfect spot to Devontae Allen. Just couldn't come up with the catch. What an effort by Doc Holliday's Marshall Thundering Herd. Final play. Perfect pass, great timing. He puts air under the football, and all you have to do is run under it and catch it if you're the redshirt sophomore, Allen, but it just slips through his hands. As it stands, it took three overtimes to get to the 700th win in Virginia Tech history. Logan Thomas struggled all day until the overtimes, and then he carries his team to a victory over Marshall. So Virginia Tech wins in triple overtime over Marshall, 29-21. The Hokies now 3-1. They're done with their non-conference portion of the schedule. They open ACC play Thursday night at Georgia Tech, and we expect Cody Jernell to be back kicking for the Hokies. Thanks for watching the Game of the Week on the ACC Digital Network.